Hi everyone, Charles here for MLM Papers, and today I would like to share with you my secret on how to understand state-of-the-art machine learning research. Whether you're a researcher yourself, or an engineer implementing state-of-the-art algorithms, or a student looking to pursue a career in machine learning, you need to understand state-of-the-art machine learning research. In this video, I will tell you how I made it myself, and I will give you an easy solution to directly understand without struggling as much as I did. Before we get into the core of the topic, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps the channel. Thank you. Let's jump in. Now, if you Google how to do research in machine learning or how to program a good machine learning algorithm, the most reasonable answers out there will give you the following two steps. First, learn the basics, that is math, statistics, computer science, optimization, and so on. And second, read the research papers. But this, is not enough. Not even close. Let's see why. Let's make the general assumption that you are working on a question in machine learning. If you are a researcher, you may be trying to solve an open research problem. If you are an engineer, you may be trying to implement an algorithm to achieve a good performance on real-world data. If you are a PhD, a master, or an undergrad student, you might be doing both. Then either way, you need to solve a problem that other people could not solve. For your purpose, you need to do two things. First, find a problem that other people could not solve before. And second, find a solution to that problem. The first point implies that you need to be aware of what others do. Reading papers is good, but if the papers you read are old, then how do you know that there is not another person like you who is interested in the same question as you and who has solved the question recently? As a researcher, how do you know that you are not solving a problem which has just been solved. As an engineer, how do you know that you are not implementing an algorithm which was outperformed recently? This is the first important point. You need to keep up with the recent machine learning literature and read recent papers. This will give you an idea of the current challenges in your field. Now, how do we tackle those challenges? If you read recent research papers in your field, then you are going to find ideas. With those ideas, you may derive an algorithm or submit a paper to a machine learning conference or a journal. However, there are thousands, if not tens of thousands of researchers and engineers out there who work in the same field as you. Those people have also read the recent papers in your field, just like you, and therefore, they are going to find the same ideas as you. They may also submit those papers to the same machine learning journals or conferences. And if one of those thousands of people was faster than you, then your work is going to be rejected. Worse, sometimes you realize that someone has had the same idea as you before you even submit your work at a conference. All the researchers in the world know what I'm talking about. It is the famous, I had a research idea, it already exists. It doesn't mean that your idea was bad. On the contrary, it was good material for a research paper, but it simply means that many people had the same idea. Thinking about it, this is not surprising. If 1,000 people read the same research papers as me, it is very unlikely that this reading gives me an idea that nobody else has had. However, if you read different papers, then it's a different story. You will start having new and different ideas and make connections between topics. You will become more creative and you will produce more innovative work which will impress and inspire your peers. If you're not convinced, look at the experts in your field. Most of the top researchers in the world have many fields of expertise, and not just one. In general, their research topics evolve over time. Same for engineers. Top engineers have worked on various projects and can usually handle many different types of data and settings. Now, unfortunately, while I do believe that this is the key to being successful in machine learning, this is not easy. I have personally given that advice to many of my friends who are also doing research in machine learning. And it told me that it was difficult for many reasons. Some of them did not have the right math and computer science background to understand other research fields. Sometimes, or often, a research paper is based on a specific theorem or algorithm. And if you don't know that algorithm or theorem in the first place, then you just cannot understand the paper. Finally, they didn't have the time. Yes, they would read a paper in their own field, because it would take them three hours but they would not read a paper in a different field because it would take them three days. I really wanted to help them, 
But I thought I cannot read research papers for them. And then I thought again and I was like, maybe I can. This is why I created this YouTube channel, ML New Papers. On this channel, I present research papers which satisfy the following four criteria. First, they are less than a year old and therefore state of the art at the moment the video is released. Second, they have been accepted for publication at one of the best conferences or journals in machine learning. Third, they contain a strong new result that has surprised me and impressed me and which can open the way to further research. And fourth, they cover a new topic in machine learning that I have not covered yet on this channel. Importantly, I want my videos to be friendly and approachable without sacrificing the main message of the paper. Each video will be around 10 minutes long. It will include all the necessary background to understand the paper's topic, as well as a strong result from the paper, so that we stay focused on our double objective. Keep up with recent research and go through a wide variety of topics within machine learning. Now, I don't know you, your background and your objective. Maybe you're a machine learning researcher yourself, trying to save time in your research reading and you want to have an insight on a wide variety of topics. Or maybe you're a PhD, master or undergrad student and you plan to do machine learning in the future. Maybe you're a teacher looking for inspiring material for your students. Maybe you're an engineer and you want to take a different look at machine learning from a research perspective. Maybe you're preparing for job interviews and you need to know many recent topics in machine learning. Or maybe you are a hardcore tech enthusiast who wants to know why and how AI works. I don't know, but if you are here, you and me have one thing in common. Curiosity about tech and machine learning. And I would love to share with you my insight on those topics. And if that can give you more passion for machine learning and be helpful in any way, shape or form for your career or your life, then I am the happiest YouTuber out there. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. Not so technical today, but I think it's nice to just have some time together to share tips and advice. They help us to find the right directions before diving into our work or studies, and that can save us a lot of time. In the future, I plan to alternate between videos where I present research papers and videos where I give the most valuable advice that I share with my lab friends at the University of Tokyo. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I would love to have your feedback. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of the next video. Next week, I will present a fascinating paper on loss functions, so make sure not to miss it. Thank you again so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.